right, so we're in it now. If you've seen it on Instagram, you already know, but if not, this is my new project, a 1981 Ferrari 308 GTBI in fly yellow. Yeah, it's a little ostentatious, but why not? It's a fair question, why this car? I mean, yeah, it's cool, it's a Ferrari, all that stuff, but why did I pick it? Well, that story starts 10 or 12 years ago, to be honest, back when these cars were relatively cheap when it comes to Ferraris. We're talking 25,000 bucks for one of them. At the time, somebody offered me that sum for my S54 swapped E36, and at the time, I also thought I was gonna take it. I said, you know, give me your money, and. I found one of these in white in Florida. I had my heart set on it before I realized that I didn't have it in me to sell the E36. It's why I still have it 15 years later. I sold the Hummer though, and it put me in a position to make a dream come true. My stepfather turned me onto these cars, and I've wanted one ever since. I found one with 38,000 miles on it, all the records since new, easily the nicest car I've ever owned by a considerable margin. I mean, this thing is, it's, it's a pretty car. The maintenance records add up to well over the purchase price of the car when it was new at like 55,000 bucks. It's, it's a good example. It's one that I can definitely say I'm proud to own, that's for sure. It's far from a basket case. It's a pretty cool car to drive. It's got manual steering. The seating position is incredibly low. I'm looking at the top of every car out there's tire. It's even lower than any slammed vehicle I've ever owned and it's skyjacked in terms of wheel gap and ground clearance. It's fly yellow. It's one of the most gorgeous cars ever made if you ask me. With respect to Ferraris, it's in the top three. The only two that beat it for me are a 288 GTO, which is frankly the same car, and an F40, which is pretty similar just with boxy LM bodywork. This car though has a lot of room for improvement because the 2.8 liter engine, sorry, two, the 2.9 liter engine that sits behind me, well, it's plagued with Bosch CIS injection. It, uh, it's not fast. It makes good noises, which hopefully translate well through the camera. But I'm going nowhere in a hurry. I think a stock E3325 could beat this thing, even an E. It leaves a lot to be desired in the power department, and I think as far as looks go, I can make this thing even better. So, here in the next few weeks, I'm hopeful that it's gonna go under the knife and the project's gonna begin. My friends at H&R Springs are on board to help me make this dream come true, and as always, it's going to hopefully be something no one's ever seen before. I not only plan to make it look awesome, I plan to use it too. I want to make this a competitive time attack car. I am going to spoil what is admittedly a really nice example. Sorry Ferrari folks, you're just going to have to deal with it. All right, so enough driving because it's time to do some planning because next week, in the next episode, the build for this thing begins. And the week after that, we'll have to do it again because I'm gonna be documenting this thing in a weekly series from beginning to end and onwards. I'm excited to show you guys everything that goes into building a car and show you guys a behind the scenes look at my creative output. I'm pulling inspiration from guys that I enjoy watching, some of which even have nothing to do with cars, such as Adam Savage or Marquez Brownlee, Brownlee, even though I don't care or know anything at all about tech. There's a lot that's gonna go into this car, as well as the E30 M3 as I prep it for further track duty and refine my talents as a driver. So there's a lot going on in the shop and I'm excited to share all of it. 
So I know it sounds cheesy, I know it's corny, but people say it because it matters. If you like what you're seeing so far or you're excited to see what's about to come, do the like and subscribe thing and leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see, what you want to learn about, what you're most excited for or where you think this thing is going to go because I think it might be a bit of a surprise. Show some support, show some love. Let me know you guys want to see this happening and I'll catch you guys next week.